Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the channel for another reaction video. We're going to be reacting to Schaeferless's Mario Kart 64 course ranking. We reacted to the Double Dash uh, course ranking video before. If you're wondering where the Mario Kart Wii one was, we're waiting on that one because we are in the midst of building our own Mario Kart Wii rankings. Um, so stay tuned. That will be coming and our rankings for Mario Kart Wii as well. But let's get into Schaeferless's video here. Ooh. Uh, so, Dude, I may have implied yo. in some of my previous videos that this is indeed a fun Mario Kart game. It and is. Parts of it sure are. Look, Playing there the are many problems with this game, life. no doubt about it. Um, I don't have as much experience playing this game this about as other Mario, Mario Karts. Sure. So, I'm, I'm curious about how to get a lot of details and, and get into the nitty-gritty. Because I don't know all the nitty-gritty about this game. It's fun. Like I do with a Double Dash or Wii. And single player, and yeah, this sucks. I'm straight up not having a good time. All that Love that. that made multiplayer a blast is now actively working against you and amounting mm. to a miserable experience. I honestly got so tired of playing this after a while that I just booted up Mario Kart DS and started <laughs> working on that ranking while I was in the middle of Hey, this shout game. out Mario Kart Before DS, though. That was, that's, the that's the OG, and man. That's, that's what I grew up on. Well, but, hey, first I was playing like Game Boy. It's only GBA Mario one, Kart goes crazy, two, too. Three, five eighths bad. It's yeah, five eighths bad? Oh, no. Oh, no, Shaferless. But thankfully, a few of them are also all-time classics that I love dearly and can't wait to talk about. So why don't we jump right Ooh, in? Oh, let's go. Mario Kart 64 course rank. Here with we those go. D tiers, everyone. D tier, knows okay. No F tiers, respectable. Let's go. But we got some D tiers. In the game of life. As of right the... now, every single course. Oh, also, by the way, link to the original video will obviously be down below. Game. Shout All out to Shreyfulus. He kills it with these videos up. every time. Commentary's on point. Editing minute, from all of his editors Didn't on point. Back in Mario Kart 8? No, you fool. That was DS exactly. Stadium, That's a fun track. Totally different from N64 I love DS Wario Stadium. So good. The same name instead of just getting the original out of the way first. That is odd though. Maybe that has to do with the fact that this course is bad. <laughs> I guess it has plenty of jumps and plenty Maybe of turns. Maybe it's because it's bad. Really much in the game without a trick system or functional drifting. Yeah, in addition, those hills are a little too high to feel good the background decoration consists of the same wario head like pasted to like infinity. the super music is just repeated um, from mario and luigi raceway which is horribly oh dude here dude my bad everybody well, let's get song would have suited this track Let, i forgot i'm out i'm so out of, so out of touch we got to get the closed captions on annoyingly far backwards on the track oh god that's terrible and on top of all that the course is unbearably long oh that There's is a terrible mechanic atmosphere and boring um but no those bumps are a little too high like you guys know like, dk mountain to to the next um the and the dino dino jungle those little bumps that those have in double dash in i absolutely love them um it just they to bring slightly alters the way that you drive just a little like, bit like these are just way too high especially when there is no trick system DS, Wario Stadium and GameCube, Waluigi Stadium. i think they could definitely make a really cool update i feel like you could like looking at that map that track layout there's potential there you may have to tweak it just a tad obviously add in a lot of elements um you know half pipes and all these other things i think you can make something cool from it but that that's a brutal course it's one where I enjoy the music and visuals. You gotta love the music. Basically nothing else, I think. The layout is boring and unspecial, and the course is littered with these godforsaken snowmen oh, God. that are absurdly it, difficult to The dodge. snowmen are not as bad as the, 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 the difficult and bowls of ice the from of Double Dash, alright? The pseudo snow tunnel is a really flaccid way to finish the course. And my personal favorite thing is if you try to cut corners with a mushroom too far, Lakitu scolds you for having too much fun and brings you back to the <laughs> You're course. not allowed to have fun. You should know this. You should know this, Shaferless. No fun allowed. No fun God, allowed. They did not play test the boundaries of the Lakitu rescue zones nearly enough because yeah. it just feels well, way too broken and janky. It's a course I mean, it's an N64 game. Come on now. It's, it's a little old. And I'm genuinely shocked that after repeat playthroughs, I liked it less and less to the point where I had to give sherbet land the edge sherbet that that course is terrible i'll just tell you right now spoiler alert on my on on our we ranking here this course is this course is terrible 
must be a new record. I'll admit, in my initial That's funny. draft of this list, I had this course. I feel like this course but for N64 has a little bit more charm to it, though, in Wii. No like, State this course just gets so, so outshined in Wii. But like, I think this actually has a little bit more of a charm to it. Feel like a racetrack. It's just this slippery, boring, frozen wasteland. Wasteland, you say? I think you mean Wonderland, cause there's penguins. Shout out Monsters Inc, cool, dude. Right? Yeah, I guess. As long as you don't run into one, cause that sends you spinning out, which takes forever to recover from. Ooh. Good luck cutting these annoyingly sharp corners. Hope you don't fall in the water. <gasps> Look how it far you bounce in this game. To pull your freezing corpse out of the lake. You bounce so the far. The section is visually distinct from the rest of the track, even though it's easier to hit the penguins. Yeah, like this stuff. area for the, the N64 game. So I guess this like, rank that's pretty cool. Compare that to really playing, know like th you know, that area. For Wii, you're not impressed by that area at all. Um, but in this but game, where the tracks are just a lot simpler, that cave section is pretty cool, I feel like. So I can understand this. Because, yeah, but with these tough controls, I can understand ranking both ice courses pretty low. And I think this course does take take a jump just a tad because the environment is cooler than the previous. Time for some midness. Let's go. Some midnight. Pretty much any ghost will do sure. I genuinely do not know what the consensus is on Banshee Boardwalk. Because I just never really hmm. see anyone talk about this one. I don't even think there's any Banshees on this course. They probably just picked it for the alliteration. Just like how that guy from Banshees of Inisherin <laughs> hey, picked it for the I love me some alliteration, yeah, so I mean like I don't know. It's uh, it's a course. There's a it's big a course. fish that jumps, and I like that. I like I that. The atmosphere can be kind of unsettling with the darkness coupled with the music. But overall, something just feels kind of off about this course. My friend put it really well when he said, this feels more like a video game level than an actual place compared to the rest of the courses in this game. Most of it is just a straight shot on this frustrating... It's an interesting way to put it. Which has plenty of turns, but no real shortcut opportunities. And it comes yeah, across I mean, rather samey there's not going to be too many shortcuts in the N64 years, Mario Kart, though. But I will say, again, I think this, I don't know, it's the, the actual track it, itself, it just kind of nothing like super groundbreaking here. But just kind of it, forgettable with atmosphere that's not nearly good enough. I mean, yeah, the atmosphere isn't great here, but again, it's it is interesting, right? Like. Compared Yoshi to some of the rest, undoubtedly the most I don't know. Vicious course in Mario Kart 64. But oh man. Maybe it was a little yeah. Too yeah, Yoshi Valley is kind of crazy. Placement boxes. They don't exist. <laughs> they don't exist. Winding alternate paths. The game just straight up can't you, tell you who's in what. You place. don't know That's who's kind in of first. A fun gimmick, but also kind of annoying. Yet, I kind of wish. Close to my biggest I kind of wish you could like at least turn that setting on if you're like playing with friends. Be like, don't show one, the places. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Turn the mini map off too. To you oh my gosh! You have to fall all the Not way down. Be able to tell, of course. But God, I hate how long the recovery time is on this track. Just put a black abyss here or some water. Or yeah, something. that's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. And then he has to come all Second the way down and pull you all decent. the way up. No. Path idea is really fun and neat. And I mean, yeah, look at, look at this so down here. Overall, that's wild. And yeah, look at it in Deluxe. The all that terrible. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's definitely an ambitious uh, thing for 64, oval. but Why are these tour tracks so definitely had its issues. So, Moo Moo Farm oh. is the rather underwhelming big brother to Moo Moo Meadows. I love Moo Moo Meadows. There are slight hills. There's a bridge yeah. that you go under and not on at any point. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Uh. There's two bridges that you go <laughs> under and not on at any point. Woo, what a relief. Hey. I this course they add, they add a nice exactly. flavor, <laughs> all right, much like Super to Super the farm. Considering how difficult this game's controls can be to get a hold of, there's definitely a lot of value. Hey, don't forget the Monty Moles, all right? Courses. Monty like Moles make it stand out. Good attributes, like its Windows 95 background aesthetic <laughs> and the fact that it puts a bunch hey. of holes on the right side of the track. There it is. A risk look at the, look at the barn. That might discourage you from drifting look at the cows. They're all there. The cows may not be on the track, but they're they are there for you to admire from afar. Again, there aren't even any moo moos on the road. Like, nope. how can I play this? There's no cows. <laughs> Lame. Moo moo meadows was better plus L plus ratio. Anyway, it's B tier time now. 
the, just straight roasting this track. Moo Moo Meadows, Moo Moo Meadows is better though. Moo Moo Meadows, that's a great track right there. It's a great track. I, I feel like I, I like that track more than most people on Wii, but you'll see where it lands on on the on the course ranking. I'm not a big fan of this track on Wii. I'm not gonna lie. I just. The aesthetics, turns, and obstacles all suit this game. Again, well. I feel like it's, it's simple, but I can always appreciate one of those tracks that's racing. way more Being like first real Mario when I watch it on N64. This track well. is so much more charming and to me Luigi on N64 than it is on Wii. Rank Luigi Raceway and Mario Raceway so high because they are the basic bitch courses designed for beginners uh. to get into the game. <laughs> but as I mentioned in the Moo Moo Farm segment, sometimes a simple course in an older Mario Kart game with rough. I always like the Luigi circuits you know you can't that's absolutely the case. you can't rank them As that usual, high just Luigi because they are so simple but I, I i always i don't mind racing on luigi circuits ever to me they're they're a fun time cut corners off the track which is definitely pretty satisfying i also like the classic nascar feeling atmosphere in addition mm -hmm. to the unique tunnel segments the jumbotron it does feel that hot air balloon like that guarantees the a blue shell every time you grab an item box oh the guaranteed blue shell, shell you gotta love it this game in um, fact, looking at the rankings I'm doing of each starter course as I make these videos, I would currently put it at second place. Not as good dang. as Double Dash Luigi yeah. Circuit, but a step above Peach Double Dash Circuit. Luigi Aww, Circuit is so good, especially when you play on those higher well, CCs and the, the barrier in the middle fans, goes away. So you can check out like battles. throw items at, e at each other uh, when you're totally driving honest, in the opposite direction. So good. Might just be my favorite battle Bat mode I don't know like anything about battle mode series. in this game. Dude, look at it. Bob's Burgers. That was a disturbing advertisement for Bob's Burgers. So we're going to just... We're just going to move right on. Don't ask questions. Alright, well, let's hear about this battle mode. Because I don't know anything. Alright, I got I to gotta get my head back in the game after Bob's Burgers. I just... The weakest is Big Donut. Turns out battling on a big circle is not that fun. There's no way to well, get from one side to the other quickly, so you yeah. might as well just stay in the center. Yeah, there's literally no nothing in the center. Chase, and yeah, nobody ever picks this one, let's be real. Next yeah, up is that's not that's not great. Surprised that this is the only one that hasn't come back in a future game yet. It's pretty solid with a lot of layers to hide from your friends. I always like attacks. give me give me battle stages that have different layers. Maybe a um, overhaul in a future remake. You know, so Pipe Plaza, like Next Funky Stadium. You know, anything like that, and it's you're good to go. It's really funny seeing how far down Skyscraper one from Wii was interesting. Where they add, what they add like the chain chomp and stuff. To weave in and out of, and it makes for a great time. But literally none of these matter compared to the single best battle course in the series. Block single best battle course in the series? Block forts in their second game. Incredible. It's like an obstacle course with multiple layers oh, and bridges to connect to each This is on DS, so right? You could go, hide, dodge, all that good stuff. Right, what this I is on DS. Love is the psychological aspect here. You have mm. four distinct colored fortresses, and battle mode supports a max of four players. So telling the rest of your friends that you're claiming one of these forts and then defending it from anyone who yes. the is unbelievably fun. Yes. And the course itself is made even better by the rule set, which to this day hasn't been topped by any other battle mode. What's up with the rule There's set? No computers and no time limit. You all have Yeah, I love that. And you got to pop the balloons your opponents have. And once someone loses all their balloons, they don't come back. It's elimination based. Yes. Baby. That's oh, how it so should what? be. That's how it should be. I don't know why they got no, I don't know why they went away from that. As a bomb car and now they get to cause some chaos by trying to blow another race. You respawn up. as hilarious. a bomb like, car? This is how you do a damn battle. The mode. sabotage? No oh my right goodness. The I sabotage you could cause with your friends. Specifically is the single best multiplayer experience on the Nintendo 64. I think I need to cool down for a bit from how incredible this experience is. And wow. About Surf Shark now. That's with some Surf high Shark, praise from Schaeferless, but I love the country. bomb card idea. Is super cool. Why is that not back? And also, the I can't believe they no went away from the, you know, they added a time limit in CPUs. That was a complete there. mistake. You but shout out Surf Shark, dude. Running the risk of falling into the frozen lake. Look, I mean, Schaeferless incorporating the gameplay into the ad, like, that's top tier. Your email address or password is compromised. Surfshark, you know, you gotta need, you need that VPN. You, you need to know if you're, you're, you're getting your data hacked. Like these are important things, right? 
Surfshark is also totally unlimited, meaning you can use it on as many devices as you like, even all at the same time. No other VPN allows this. I don't think you can use Surfshark on an N64 though, but that's just because it's old. Pretty much all your modern devices are Surfshark approved. Go to surfshark.deal slash Rillis and enter promo code Rillis to get 83% off and 3 extra months of Surfshark VPN for free. It's an amazing deal and it's even better because it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you can cancel during those 30 days and get your money back. If you're looking for a great VPN, there's no reason not to give Surfshark a try. Once again, head to surfshark.deal slash Rillis and enter the promo code Rillis. Have a great time with Surfshark VPN. He's almost a quarter of the way there. Jeez. Oh, I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, I like I zone out there. Well, I, I was just so really entranced really in the Surfshark real advertisement. Real I I I I don't know. I just lost a little bit. <laughs> oh, let's get back into it. Rainbow Road this early. And I feel like that's the case for the general Mario Kart community as a whole. Very early Rainbow Road. This is a really contentious No, Baby Park. If you're hating on Baby Park, what are you? No, baby. The, the, the only debate about Baby Park is it like number one or is it like number two, three, four, or five? Like, if you don't have it in the top five, what are you doing? The music, ooh, baby, the music. It's some good stuff. It's one of the most magical feelings. You're gonna always get that great music on Rainbow Road. Look at those. Those character models are amazing, though. That's that's even cooler than uh, GameCube's different like statues of the different items yeah this is a long course we're talking about a six minute race guys and not being able to fall off is kind of a problem for me i mean that's a rainbow road theme right like this is this should be the hardest course in the game and it's just not but for once yep. that comes not from its difficulty and instead from how it feels like it takes 10 hours to complete I don't know. I admire the audacity and I have had a fun times on this course. The audacity. Which is more than I can say about most of the ones I ranked at the bottom. That's just not but nice, shit. Yeah, I think this that... is about as high as it can go. Also, wow. I have never pulled off the ultra shortcut at the beginning before. Am I just bad at video games? Chocolate. You need that. You need you know, the ultra shortcut. Be better. Be better. Game by the Come ones on. That give me the most visceral positive reaction when I think of them. The top two would end up being the course that I actually ranked at number one and uh, the one that's all the way down. At Choco this Mountain. That being Choco Mountain. Hey. I swear to God, Chocolate. this course is the physical manifestation of that meme with the guys on the bus. Thinking about playing Chaco Mountain gives me such immense pleasure and joy. Then I actually play it, and <laughs> oh, I touched one of the walls at the wrong angle. Oh, yep, yep, oh, yep. Now I fell off. The guess I'm going yep, backwards yep, on the yep, track yep, now. Okay, that's fun. That's great. This is so fun. This is the best this is course I love ever. Course. I love it so much. It's more than a little frustrating. <laughs> El DS Chaco Mountain kind of go hard though, right? I think it's in DS. Alright, if my memory serves me correctly. And it doesn't feel nearly as dynamic as many of the courses I ranked above it. I don't really have as much fun playing on this course as I do just looking at it and listening to it. Yeah. Because oh my god, I want to eat this course. <laughs> they nailed the chocolate. Never, I never and thought. The I, is a really cool I never. Concept. And the music wanted honestly, to eat up there with Rainbow the Road course as, as I played it. In the entire game. This is a course that just excites me anytime I see it. Because how do you not get excited about a mountain made entirely I mean, of chocolate? I mean, he's not wrong. I really wanted to rank it higher. But since gameplay reigns supreme, I ultimately just yep. couldn't. Gameplay does reign supreme. I'll have plenty of chances to gush about it later when it gets brought back by Mario Kart games. Hey. So oh. ultimately, Hold, can, we, the week can we get a rerun of that Schaefer list? I'll have plenty of chances to gush about it later. Gets brought back by Mario Kart games that are actually playable. When he gets brought back by Mario Kart games, games that are actually playable. This course, I still think He's out here the roasting. Back, the, theming, music, the, the 64 the Mario Kart. Kart. Come win. Come win. win. Look. When it's not, I Look. I know, I know it's hey, an old man, game. What's going on? I'm on the highway right now. Okay. Revisiting 64 for this video, and I know it's an old game, but like, the we got we got to be nice to Mario Kart 64. How good the original version of Toad's Turnpike. Shout out Toad's Turnpike. Spoilers for my future ranking, I guess. Toad's but I Turnpike. Hate this course in Eight Deluxe. It is genuinely mm. so boring to me. Interesting. And the more traffic courses get added to the booster course pass, the more irrelevant it becomes. But it's, like, you know, hot take. Hand, I don't know. I don't know if it's hot or not. There's too many version, traffic courses. You know, a, good time. a few, a few traffic courses gets me my well, fill of the traffic courses, the and then I'm, I'm about tapped out on that it. Skybox, Just like desert courses. Right 
best like, sky box in the game. Hand I hand. just need a few, and then I'm done. I don't necessarily know what time of evening they're capturing here, but whatever it is, it's the best of times. <laughs> it's the You'd think best it's also of the times. worst of times because of how large and in charge the cars and trucks are in this road. But that makes compared to your them, racer, why are those fun. cars like twenty times your size? That doesn't seem accurate. Can't help but be incredibly charmed by this course in every aspect, from gameplay to aesthetic to music. And that's not even getting into mirror mode, where they actually flip the Ooh. directions that the cars are racing so that you're driving against traffic. That's an insanely cool detail. That's pretty Overall, cool. Overall, some really great stuff that I have very That's like Moonview Highway before Moonview Highway, certain, so... Right? You fell off. Unlike Dang. these top five courses, which are eight tier. Just so roasting eight deluxe hey, now. He's, come to the He's roasting All everything. Right, let's get this out he does not right hold back, that. ladies yes, and gentlemen. you can drive around Peach's Castle on this course, and it's the most Look at amazing that. thing ever. I'm so glad they Dude's did. going it's outside the map. Eggs in any Mario Kart course. It doesn't even matter to the race. You're not supposed to go here, but you just can. And it's incredible. And I love oh. it. And oh. I will never oh, forgive that was eight brutal. deluxe for removing it. Now get oh. the fuck out of my house, you oh. stupid game that's superior to this one in every way, except for this one. Oh my gosh. Egg, and the entirety of Toad's it is... I guess. And I kinda like battle It's not any anyway, what else does <laughs> raceway do right? Well, it's got a big ass. Just hardcore bump. roasted it and then like backtracked with a few a compliments to the game and he's like you wouldn't anyways. Bad an eye at a jump like this in any future Mario Kart games. It's a pretty exhilarating and Yeah, that course jump course for this game that's game that's tracks. transcendent, all right? Elements, that's that's what groundbreaking. It's just a really solid and memorable track. There's a lot of good turns. It's sufficiently lengthy without being overly long. And yep. the color palette is really nice with the pink sky and green. I hills. do like the look For here. Being a raceway course, e. Too many of the courses in this game are dull, like co color-wise. So this course, look how bright it is. Out as one of the like, best oh, the that's that's it rough, like Luigi. Luigi Raceway was the beginner circuit. Mario Raceway was intermediate, and this one's like this famous, one's even brighter than both of the other circuits. Track with a lot to love about it. Uh, let's be honest, though. It would probably drop down two or three slots if it didn't have the Peach's Castle either. Well, Do you, find that structural roof you didn't miss much on that advertisement, ladies and gentlemen. If, you, if you're interested in bolts and frames, no one really talks about, it was for you. But uh, if not, I say, because, wow, is chalk it. Fun. <laughs> um, just chalk it, honestly. But uh, I don't. I don't know if we're dropping down two or three spots just without the Easter egg. Come on now. Gameplay reigns supreme. Gameplay solid. Bridge is really satisfying but, uh, to leave items on. DK Being Jungle Jungle, control, jungle Parkway, love it. Being able to do light. that is and way better. You can't do that, that in last me. Turn where if you're going fast enough, you can just circumvent the road entirely and propel yourself up the hill. I don't think you can do that in me either. The only slight complaint I have what with this the? course is how annoying it is when rocks get thrown at you well, whenever you veer on the grass. Well, you probably like, shouldn't go... I get it, go... guys. I can tell I shouldn't be here I don't think... I'm going a lot slower. Yeah, you, you probably have shouldn't have gone that way no, anyway. No, wait, is that shit? <laughs> it's not a huge deal, <laughs> I don't... but yeah, it's, all I'm that's... saying is, I think there's a reason nobody complains when they took that feature out of the Wii version. I mean, that... Uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but like, that's, you shouldn't be going that way. That shouldn't lower the ranking. But again, this... This course, like this beach, that course, so again, so much more charming. I like that course, it, the right look now, of it in Wii, but really more than with Beach. the other it's remakes that we've talked about like this, but still, that looks so much better Super Mario Kart. Uh, in this game than it did Wii. To me, this is number one. Because this one is an easy standout. The abundance of ramps are more than I one. know be tricky to fully stay on. To me, They're this this is like gotta be number one. Ignored in favor of cutting corners underwater. Yeah, yeah, take that. Seven. Like uh, going seven. underwater, the the, the boost ramps. Kinda. Just don't go too far into the ocean and you'll be fine. This course also has one of the coolest shortcuts in the whole. See game. and then look at this. Leading to a cave that'll take you like, dude. This is groundbreaking for this game. I also love how charming this rock. That's and again, it's a brighter, more vibrant course. Really There's not a lot of those in this game. Like, you know, the the, the, the you know, know, you got the split pathway, you got a shortcut, you got the boost the ramps, you can drive on the sand, drive in the water. As a of Koopa Maybe they just to me, all around, this is this is the best course. Um, you know. I know where he's going with it at number one now, but the crucial lore of Mario Kart. I need to know. Anyway, to me, I'd put this at one time every time I play. It's from Bowser. Yeah, to me, that that's me? the most the all around solid course. Low key, one of the best ones. This is a great course as well. It has a lot of the oppressive um, and ominous atmosphere that something like Banshee Boardwalk was missing. But to me, music, crispy looking lava, I just, as shit, it's cra and it's crazy because I'm I'm not a beach course guy either. I'm really not. But to me, that one is like 
Yeah, it's just done perfectly. Small garden area is also an interesting juxtaposition to the rest of this formidable. Portion. But I really like this course. It's a really good Bowser Castle. I mean, right. I think Bowser's Castle this is in it, like every game, is going to be a great course. Series. And it captures a sense of creepiness. It's that big no bad Bowser. Does. But on top of that, it's just amazing to drive on too. Making all these turns as you dodge the thwomps that move in unique patterns. Again, like this course boards, seems avoiding the numerous opportunities. Like, so, like the, the really good courses there. in this game and just seems general, light years ahead of their time compared to the bad courses. Like it's the perfect level of difficulty. The, for this the amount of different elements the in these courses compared to the and first course, tracks we looked at, it's mind-boggling. Like Wario Stadium is just a bunch of dirt hills that's in a very long track. Look at all the stuff this has. Fire breathing oh, Bowsers. Yeah, you got the thwomps that move and no come down and hit you. Game. You got an outside castle Bowser's section, an inside castle series. section. Lava, like... like it. It's fun. It's spooky. It's a really great time. Outdone only by one other. I'm sorry, guys, but the number one pick was obvious for me. 15 of the 16 courses in this game Calamari Desert. Calamari Desert? Train ahoy, baby. Again, I I, I gotta go. I think our top three is basically the same. Though. I think I would go Bowser Castle. Okay, fine. Um, well. Calamari this, Desert. me, is the and, quintessential um, desert course. Was it the One Koopa that doesn't rely Beach. on the fact that it's a desert as the main selling point. Because and and I know exactly Schaeferless from the last video, he's point. not a big desert so course guy. So for him to rank this at one is impressive. Calamari Desert subverts the typical mediocrity you'd come to expect from this type of course. Which is crazy considering how it was the first desert track ever put in a Mario Kart game. Mm -hmm. They really just peaked at the beginning, huh? huh? And let's go over its other positive attributes real quick so you don't think I'm biased because trained. Even though I totally am. The music for starters. At least hey, he's admitting the bias. See, lighthearted and adventurous at the me, same time. Me as the unbiased. It's I could listen to for ages without getting tired. Course ranker. The curve it's not number one. You to use mushrooms and stars to cut Can't corners be. to your heart's content, which is a boon for any course. Basically, every part of this track has a shortcut if you've got the right item for it. The aesthetic is shockingly gorgeous. Like with most deserts, you'd expect the sands to be tan and bland. I just really wish there were one or two more elements here. Like, it's just but too, here, it's such an man. open course. It, it does look great. Equally beautiful sky it does look great. It's so pleasing on right? the eyes, and it just makes you feel like it's you're in on it, an But it's just so open and so vast, land. I need if a little bit more. Was, and I understand deserts don't have a lot in them and stuff, so that makes sense. But, but that's where can you add comes in. can you add oh, one baby. different like oh enemy type God, onto the onto the track or you, risk going you know the train is about I, I don't know pass? I need something. You stop and wait for it to pass? This the is a great mechanic, I will say. And TV shows that's been brought to life in exquisite fashion here in Mario Kart. The amount of fun unpredictability this locomotive provides makes this easily one of the most memorable and special courses in the whole game. Not bad for a mushroom cup course. <laughs> That's hey, Mushroom wild. Cup yeah, is normally path, known to have some very underrated tracks. I, I don't know. It always it's happens. Mushroom Gorge, well. Toad Factory, it all like. Adds up to a track that's iconic for all the right reasons. Again, Easily to me, that's top Mario three. Can't be number one for one me, but I completely understand. Every game in the series from here on out. So yeah, that's 64. It See, like even even if we look at this, game. like yeah, so they added you can actually go through the um train area and then we see that they even add like a, a boost ramp here like they just needed a few more things and i know i mean a lot of the a lot of these tracks you could say they needed a few more things like this one right here but you know it's got a lot of great stuff, and i mean the you know the koopa the best. you know the and beach the doesn't have a ton circuit, either but i think I'm i don't know it's just so it, that's a smaller scope to where it, it doesn't feel as bad i feel good night tri-state area shout out schaeferless shout out all the editors editors great video gotta love it that was a really fun one um again the original video will be linked in the description um oh my um smash that like button if, if you enjoyed it um this was really fun to react to schaeferless's um video here and um we're now on why pikmin 3 is my favorite uh one so if you're interested in pikmin you can go watch that video as well i meant to to stay on the other video but yeah smash like button if you enjoyed this video comment what did you think of schaeferless's uh tier list here and rankings of um the uh, the n64 mario kart tracks and yeah with that being said 
catch you guys in the next one. Um, and yeah, soon stay tuned for the Schaeferless reaction to his Wii course ring and then for our course ranking to come out as well. Thank you so much for watching once again. We will see you in the next one.